Hello, this is Mike Davis. Welcome to my channel, Chasing Health and Longevity. In my health journey, and I'm sure in yours too, you're often asked to give blood for different test reasons. And sometimes we get information back that the test was good or the test was bad. We don't often get a lot more than that. Maybe you need another test to figure out more information. Sometimes I feel good when I get my blood work back and the doctor actually shares the results, or even better, if the report has some sort of chart showing normal ranges and out of normal ranges and where I'm falling in, in that scale. But that's usually the extent of the information that we get about our own blood work. In this episode, I'll review a program called Inside Tracker. This is a service that is meant to help you not only track your blood work, but understand it better and give you specific advice on how and what to improve. To be fair, Inside Tracker can also test and track your DNA, as well as other physical performances. Those will be for another episode, but please subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. You can find Inside Tracker on the web at www.insidetracker.com. The link will be down below. Or download the app of the same name from any mobile device. Here you'll see from the website, ultra personalized nutrition system that analyzes data from your blood, DNA, and habits. And there's a big difference between what's right and what's right for you. The answer is in your data. So how does it work? Well, first you'll pick a plan that's right for you have a blood test done, and either upload or wait for the results to be displayed. Then you'll answer some questions about your goals, life, sleep habits, food, preferences, and others. Then review the actions and recommendations that they give to you that are specific to your health today and the information you've previously given. Finally, keep tracking your data and see if the things that you're doing today are moving your numbers and your biomarkers in the right direction. Seems like a good plan to me. Let's get going. When you look for plans, the most popular ones are shown first. Here they have the ultimate for $589, the inner age for 249, blood results upload for 119, and a year of inside tracker for a whopping $1,999. The ultimate plan, your blood test is included and the cost, and they'll analyze 43 different biomarkers. Inner age, the blood test is also included and they'll analyze 17 biomarkers. The blood results upload. This is the one that I chose as it was only $119, even though I have to get my own blood test. My cost for the blood test at LabCorp was $129. So $129 plus $119 is $248 total. That seemed like the most economical to me. Now there must be some differences in the blood work that is done though, as I asked for a full blood panel and once I uploaded, there were only 23 biomarkers that were analyzed. So I was missing some 20 biomarkers that I would have had if I used their blood work from the ultimate plan, but for two times the cost. I'll post an update here showing the differences from what LabsCorp's full blood work panel included versus what Inside Tracker's ultimate blood work includes. So then I can see what I'm missing. I'm sure I can order similar tests once I know their specifics. Also, with the blood results upload plan, I am able to upload other blood tests over the year of the subscription. The other plan, a year of Inside Tracker, which includes four blood tests and 43 biomarkers. After I uploaded my blood test results, I waited for about 10 days before I got an email. Yay, my results were in and I had been analyzed. Notice that my most recent blood test date shows as well as the total tests uploaded, which is two. Then you see the biomarkers at a glance. At risk, one needs improvement, three, and optimized, 19. You can view your results from multiple tests side by side in the list view. There are red dots for at risk, yellow dots for needs improvement, and green dots for optimized. When you go to the reports and analysis page, you will get more detailed information. Since I have two tests, there is a line from each previous test showing me where my biomarker is trending and which category it is in. Then there are recommendations like foods or activities to improve. There is a tab showing more information about the science behind each biomarker and even the ability to see your results compared to other Inside Tracker users. Next, there are two sections for each biomarker group. This is the lipid group, and as you can see, I'm in the yellow, as needs work group. There are some helpful recommendations here to review and help you get optimized. Below that, you will see each of the four areas analyzed in the lipid group. First is the LDL. In the upper right is the actual number for LDL. In this case, I'm at a 44. You can see this in comparison to my previous number, which was 91. I'm now smack in the middle of the optimized range for LDL. 
There is a video here to learn more about LDL, but not much more as it's optimized. The next tab over is the HDL. Here I have fallen below optimum for the good cholesterol at 48. Notice that this is slightly higher than it was last time, but still needs some work. There's some additional information such as consume up to one egg per day. I already do that. Skipping over triglycerides, which were also optimized, you can see that my total cholesterol is now too low and that I'm in the at-risk category. Some more information here. However, I think it's a bit funny to note that it's far more common to have high cholesterol, so they have very few comments or recommendations for low cholesterol. Note that my cholesterol is now at 104, down from 151 in my previous test, and by the way, down from over 230 a year ago. If you're interested in how I did lower my cholesterol, please subscribe and hit notify. This will be a focus of an upcoming video as a lot of people have asked me about that. After you review all of your biomarkers, you should have a good idea what needs urgent attention, what needs some attention, and what needs to be maintained. For me, getting HDL up uh, a bit is important, as are a few other markers in the needs improvement section. Overall, it's quite an impressive tool and it really gives me something to measure against rather than a scale and weight. There is also a very nice tool called My Food Basket. This uses the information from questions that they originally asked you along with areas that needs improvement and some of your food preferences. That information is used to come up with some recommendations on foods to help you reach your goal. Inside Tracker can also integrate with certain fitness trackers. This comes with my $119 package, so I'm anxious to add some other data to the overall analysis. I currently have a Samsung fitness tracker watch, but it's not integrated with the inside tracker. So I'll be looking at the best fitness trackers available that are integrated between Apple, Garmin, and Fitbit, and choosing the one that I'll of course review here in an upcoming episode. I will also be adding on the DNA results for an additional $29. I've ordered the 23andMe DNA test that, yes, of course, again, I will be reviewing shortly. Very excited to see how all of these results combine are and are added to the overall analysis by Inside Tracker, as well as get a more complete picture of me and my health and the biomarkers and fitness levels. Overall, I really love what I've seen so far. The upload option was not too expensive and I'm getting great information. I'm very motivated to move my test results into the optimum category. And for me, Battling the weight scale has been a lifelong endeavor, but this is giving me other ways to measure and improve my health that should also be reflected on the scale. It's fun to see that there's a benefit to eating broccoli and everything else besides just low carb nutrition. It actually shows up in my blood work and that's nice. I hope you found this information valuable for your own journey. For me, Inside Tracker will be a part of my health and longevity for a long time. It gives me great feedback, useful tips, important data, and a lot of motivation. Please subscribe to Chasing Health and Longevity and click notify. Also, I love it when you leave comments and ideas, and I love hearing from you. Thank you.